Hi, everybody, and welcome to this episode of MedTag, where I have as a guest Dr. Jesus Lozano, eye surgeon who has its clinic in Monterrey with over 12 years of experience. And we're asking the doctor a couple of questions that we think they're very important for people who want to do some medical tourism and travel to Monterrey to get their eyes checked. Hi, doctor. How are you? Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the invitation. And hopefully we can give information that is useful for all the all the people. If I have dry eye and I want to schedule an appointment, can we set up a virtual consultation with you to determine if I have dry eye? Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. Actually, through the website in Ophthalmologo Jesus Lozano, you can schedule an appointment and one of my assistants will contact you and we'll start that consultation and then we see you here in Monterrey. If I have some symptoms and I want to travel to Monterrey and enjoy the side seats and stuff, how long do I have to stay usually if I want to treat my dry eye or have another procedure done? How long is my should I schedule my time of being there? Yeah, if it's only dry eye, it's only a one-time consultation. So we can see everything and you can travel the next day. Actually, in ophthalmology, is one of the specialties that is very easy to travel. There, that is why there is a, a lot of medical tourism here in Monterey. We are a big city. And people come for refractive surgery or for cataract surgery, and they stay two days in Monterey, and they go back. After the surgery, you can travel by, play, by plane. You can fly the next day after the surgery. So only with two days here in Monterey, you will be fine. Yeah, that was one of the questions, because sometimes when you get like a surgery or something, the air pressure from the plane is not very helpful after your procedure. So usually when you have a procedure in the eyes, what's the recommended time for you to get on a plane and be exposed to that cabin pressure? Actually, the cabin pressure doesn't affect in cataract and in refractive surgery. So you can travel the next day after the surgery. In some surgeries, talking about retina, the back part of the eye, if we put a gas or we put a, some uh, material in the eye, you have to stay in Mexico between one to two weeks. But that is not that common. The common surgery is that people come to Monterey to have surgery is femtolasic or to take off the glasses and cataract surgery. So those two surgeries doesn't have a problem with that cabin pressure. And the other thing. Uh, I've been to Monterrey. I think it's a very lovely city. I, actually, I think I'm going to be in the next 30 days. I haven't bought my ticket yet, but I have to go. I have my, my doctor there. So I usually go to Monterrey and, and travel. I'm in Texas. So I do that whole one time a year visit to him. In your experience, because I don't want to give my point of view in that, what's the best time to go to Monterrey? Every the best time, time of the year. No. There is the best time. Well, yes, it is. It's super hot. If you go in the summer, it's yeah. super hot. If you're living in the north part of the United States or in Canada, I, you are not used to the heat or the, like hot weather. It's better to travel November, October, when they just start to get that not that hot. Yeah, of course. Of course. But there's a lot of uh, fun place to be, like Chapinque. <music> 